Greetings, 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 beautiful beings. This is Revere Sky, Revere Sky's Essence. Okay. Hello to you Mississippians. Hello to the Mississippians of the East. Hello to the Mississippians of the West. Okay. Um... I should be greeting you in some Indian language, indigenous language. But, um, hello to the Mississippians of the North, and hello to the Mississippians of the South. Hello to the Wakandians. Okay. The Wakandians of the Mississippi. Don't let the equator fool you. The melanated people were already here. Afrocentric people were already here. Melanated people with straight hair were already here. Very interesting, right? When the movie Wakanda first came out, People did mention Wakanda State Park or Wakanda National Park or whatever, right? But nobody really tapped in. You have to tap into the frequency. You know any state park where you see a bunch of lakes, streams and rivers, mounds and mountains, there's a cover up. Remember at the end of the movie Wakanda, they showed them in America. <laughs> like this hidden place. But when we get out and hang out, we're just going to stop in America. The Mississippians. The Mississippi River runs through Minnesota, Wisconsin, Iowa, Illinois, Missouri, Kentucky, Tennessee, Arkansas, Mississippi, and Louisiana. And Wakanda Park Mounds is right there in Missouri. You even have the Iowa Mounds. You even have Mound City. Is Mound City... In Missouri, huh? Because off 26, Nebraska, Iowa, sixty-four, twenty-six, sixty-four, twenty-nine. One of them is Mound City. Like, I wonder how their dreams are at night to be on top of indigenous shrines, like. How do they sleep at night? How do they rest? Sleeping around mounds that are not even their ancestors. How do they rest? <laughs> they can't be human. Because otherwise you'll be tapped in. Spirit said they're able to rest because of sorcery. There is sorcery out there that put a spell down so that spirits that wander or that are territorial, like land spirits, cannot intervene or interfere with most numb people on the planet. One day, just maybe, you will realize how close you really are to your indigenous stomping grounds. Every aspect of this planet, people, was to deter you from your path, mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, 
to psych you out of your inheritance. They created imaginary fake borders and boundaries. No trespassing zones. One day, just one day, you will quit complying and stop agreeing to the forgery and misuse of power. Missouri, Illinois, Iowa, Nebraska, Kentucky are well known for their mounds. And trust and believe, they won't be digging up mongoloids. This Wakanda Park is in your backyard. And I'm sure the lakes and water are covering up important evidence to our troops. Just remember, you are prisoners of war. And the only way to triumph your oppressors is to outthink them and pick them off one by one. A war mindset must take effect to resolve these misinformed peers. Don't ask no questions, just start kicking ass silently. One day you will learn karma is an illusion. Ashe, what's destined is destined. How can you be punished or cursed for a race of beings younger than you? genetically modified to host a parasite and biogenetic coding from another realm. Oh, if they look like Tin Man, you'd fight back. But because they have flesh and, and they bleed, you think they are us. Your software and technology is completely different from the younger generation of races. Their software, their technology, and their hardware is foreign to us. Their hive mind, their connectedness is foreign to us. Just because they're using the vessel and it holds the basic functions of the DNA, just like our Kundalini's can rise and we don't burn up, their Kundalini's rise and they self combust through eternal and internal heat. We are different. There is a reason the indigenous are attacked so much in these areas. Pollution, drugs, disease, obesity, crime, poverty, weather engineer, weather modification. You are the Mississippians. You are the Wakandians. Check out my channel, the community page. Read what I wrote over again. Scroll through the pictures. Like, share, and subscribe. I am one with the universe. I am one with creation. I am one with the universe. I am one with nature. Unearth the magic. The truth will set you free. Why do I say that? Why do I say Unearth the magic. The truth will set you free. If we unearth these mounds, there may be a certain presence, a certain energy, certain artifacts that awaken you. You know, Africa shows a lot of artifacts. But they truly don't awaken your soul. They truly don't awaken your spirit. They truly don't awaken or resonate with you. Don't get me wrong. Their beats, their food, their herbalism is phenomenal. 
But there's things about the United States, Central America, South America, and Canada that you really need to pay attention to. Because in these Wakandian streets, you need to be well aware of who you are. And you know you got the Atlanteans in Atlanta. Little Egypt. Out there with a population of less than 5,000. <laughs> Pay attention. Observe. And be ready to kick ass. And I must say, all of this is allegedly... Let them have their cake while we eat it too. Let's see. Really, we would we don't even want the cake, okay? Hey, eat it anime. Eat it anime. We don't even want the cake. Wake up, beautiful beings. Mm -hmm.